quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Uh. All right, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is titled Melbourne to Cairns because it's another travel vlog. We're traveling to Cairns for one night. I have one final thing that I need to sort out there that happened whilst I was living there. I'm having to go back. It's a legal issue and that's all I'm going to say. So with that being said, I thought I would <laughs> once and for all bring you out here on the balcony one final time because I don't know when I'm going to have a view like this again. It's been absolutely incredible to come out here every morning and, and every night um, and see the city behind me because, you know, that's why I'm here, man. That's why I'm here. That's why I love Melbourne. I love the city. I love what it brings. I love what it gives me um, as in motivation, inspiration, energy, and it's good. And it's raining. <laughs> and I love fucking rain, believe it or not. So look, we're leaving now. We stayed at 163 Fitzroy Street and it's a park facing apartment which is key, it's crucial because this is basic, this, this apartment building is basically in like a loop. So you've either got um, an entrance at the back end to massive windows out the front here or you've got windows going out the other way which does not have a view whatsoever. In fact it's terrible, you're looking at bricks. So I got really lucky with this one and now it's time to go down to the car, roll myself up a smoke, and chill out for a couple of hours because the flight is at, uh, what, the flight's at 2.35, it's 10 a.m. right now. I need to drop the rental car off and hopefully be at the airport by one. So I've got three hours. What to do? What to do? I'm actually gonna go shopping. I'm gonna get one hat, cap, I'm gonna get one pair of sneakers, and I'm gonna get a polo shirt so I can wear it tomorrow. Because I can't go in wearing the shit that I've got now. MKP just doesn't cut it. I'll see you guys in the car. By the way, one of my pet peeves is coming to accommodation, buying food, and having to leave it in the fridge or the, or the pantry uh, for whoever's coming in next. You know, if you can't take it on the plane or you, you know, you've just bought way too much. I'm happy to say, this time I did it absolutely perfectly. The only things I've got left from my entire three nights here is this. Four boiled eggs, a tin of tuna, an avocado, and a banana. How good and how clean does that look? That is gonna keep me sustained with a coffee until my flight. Peace. Okay, so look, we've got three hours to kill. It's gonna take me about an hour to get to the airport, no doubt. Where is the nearest shopping mall? Huh. That's actually the first time I've looked at exactly where my location is as opposed to the water. And we have, the water's actually, the park's out that way, the water's this way, of course. The park travels around towards Melbourne CBD. And that's what we can see in the background, which was really cool, man. That was, especially at night. Now, I don't know if I showed you guys at night, but with the, the whole city lit up at night, it is, and you're sitting inside and you've got those big glass windows at the back of the property. You're looking out, you know, brand new kitchen, new bathroom. Fucking nice environment to be in, man. Really nice environment. Oh, we'll look for a Westfield. That's always a good option. What do we got? Something close to the airport. Westfield Airport West. Sounds fantastic. Let's go. 25 minutes, not going to take long at all. And the airport's just next to it. Head northeast on Fitzroy Street towards Lakeside Drive. Well, all right then. Here's something I prepared earlier. Don't know if you noticed. But, uh, you know, life's... Life's a lot better when you take the edge off. Couple of puffs. I'm going to drive to Westfield, pick up a hat, pick up some sneakers, and pick up a polo shirt. Alright. So look, as always guys, it's just you and I here. You don't have to tell anybody, okay? So shh. And 
there she is, in all her glory, Westfield. Turn left towards Matthews Avenue, then sharp left onto Matthews Avenue. Okay. It actually looks kind of small. Uh, I'm just hoping it's got a sports store. Right. Sharp left onto Matthews Avenue, then turn left. Just trying to think where to park. I do have a habit of uh, getting lost in Melbourne. It's happened probably five times already. So I'm thinking, at, le at least if I can exclude downstairs from the equation, I should be able to find the car again. So we're parking upstairs. All right, how are we? Cheers guys, cheers to the weekend. Even though it's Tuesday. Um, okay, relatively good successful trip. I say relatively because relative to where we are, how much time I had, how much money I wanted to spend, how many shops were in there, um, I did pretty well. We got two caps, two things to eat, and one polo shirt. I didn't get sneakers because I was thinking in there, when I'm just about to jump on a plane, why the fuck am I going to buy a brand new pair of sneakers with a big box and all that stuff? I'm going to wait till I get back to Melbourne. I didn't exactly know what kind of sneakers I needed anyway, what I needed them for. Do I need running shoes for the streets or do I need, you know, good looking sneakers that I can actually wear in general life? Uh, I, I wasn't sure. We just got a plain black polo for tomorrow. Can't go wrong with that. Two caps, one Under Armour like dry fit. Um, very similar to the one that I bought last time. It's going to be perfect for training outside when it's hot. And this one, which is an Adidas cap, it's got a strap back, which I prefer, much prefer a strap back over a um, snap back nowadays. And last but not least, we've got one custard scroll with almonds on top and one spinach and feta croissant. Would you look at that? Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely delicious. And there's three people staring at me in front of the car. So I'm gonna go now. I may see you guys at the airport. I may not, but just know we're on a mission and we're having fun. And that's the main thing. I don't know if that made sense or not. I'll see you guys soon. That's about enough of that. We're just listening to some smooth FM my friends, uh, and we're here. We're here at Melbourne Airport. All right, we have found the rental returns. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright everybody, what is up? We're here, once again, back in Cairns. It's bringing back all the feels, all the memories, as you guys know. Well, some of you may know. I spent about three months here, at the start of this year. It wasn't all bad, but I'm back tonight and tomorrow just to sort out one last thing. And I'll tell you guys about that in future, but not until it's sorted. It's been on my mind for months. Flight was good. Flight was good. I downloaded a couple of podcasts, listened to those, Joe Rogan episodes. Uh, learned something, had something to eat, had a coffee. I'm feeling all right. Waiting for my free transfer to my accommodation, which is just a backpackers, but I've got a single room. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's only $50, so it's questionable at best. But uh, yeah, it's always a good start when the flight went well when you don't feel absolutely fucked after a flight I mean it was a four-hour flight so you know for some of you guys over in America four hours is probably nothing but for me it's actually quite sizable anyways I'll see you guys at the accommodation all right we're gonna shut the curtain guys uh, <laughs> what was the word what was the word that I used before questionable Questionable at best? Well, Jesus fucking Christ. I've never had a smaller accommodation room in my life, but it cost me $50. And the staff are pleasant. 
and it's got aircon and it's humid and it's like a prison cell but it's all right guys we're here in Cairns I'm gonna go out and get something to eat uh, just a second oh and we're gonna have a smoke too so I'll see you guys back here when uh, I've got food sorted I've got a joint rolled I'm nice and cool because I'm hot as fuck right now and uh, then we can just relax for the night I've got free Wi-Fi thank God and I'm just gonna chill on my phone that's all I want to do it's dark I'm here by myself I'm kind of lonely I'm kind of homesick right now so I'm gonna jump on my phone get on the Wi-Fi and start watching some YouTube and it will feel just like home kinda I'll see you soon right, we're back I've got one thing that I couldn't say no to and that's Zappos anyone had Zappo lollies anyone like grape flavored lollies man I can't get enough of them anyways one thing I just wanted to touch on is my disappointment at the fact that I've brought half my laptop halfway over the country and I can't even use it. There's no TV in here, man. I thought there'd be a little TV sat right up there. But unfortunately there's not. So guys, look, we're going to call it a night here. It's uh, 7.30. I'm going to go and get a meal at the, um, at the bar here at the Backpackers. They've got live music. I'm going to chill out, get a drink. Not alcoholic. Probably a Diet Coke with lots of ice, a chicken parmigiana with chips, and that's about it. So I'm going to see you guys bright and early in the morning, and uh, have a fantastic night, wherever you are in the world. Peace. Alright everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the video. Welcome back to another day in the life of Jacob McDonald. It's 8.30 in the morning, I'm about to head out. It's a beautiful day here in Cairns, it's, it's a little bit humid. I've got pants on, so I don't know how long it's going to be until I start sweating. I'm going to walk down to where I need to go, and then when I get back, we'll be heading to the airport, and I'll chat to you then. Peace. Okay, we're back. We're back. It's been a few hours. I'm at Cairns Airport once again. We're about to head back to Melbourne. Everything went okay. It's been a stressful, long, but productive day and we're going to head back down to Melbourne with a clear head, a clear conscience and that's all I'm going to say about that. So the trip was worth it. The two grand that I paid was worth it. I went out, had some lunch today, walked around Cairns for the last time, it was a little bit nostalgic I must admit. Um, I probably took more notice of Cairns today than I did in the whole th two and a half months that I was there earlier this year. You know, I don't know why, man. My mindset's all over the place, it seriously is. I don't know what's right, what's wrong. I'm very, very confused, and I'm trying to work it all out right now. So with that being said, I'll see you in Melbourne. If you trust security, please do not leave your luggage unattended at any time.